Character sketch off. Important characters. And their rule. English Law and Literature BNSLLB Semester 1. The Merchant of Venice is a play by William Shakespeare, set in 16th century Venice. Here are the most important characters in the play and their roles. Antonio, he is the merchant of Venice and the main character of the play. Antonio is a wealthy businessman who borrows money from Shylock to help his friend Basilio Vuposia, a wealthy heiress. Antonio is a kind and generous man who is loved by his friends but despised by Shylock. Shylock, he is a Jewish moneylender and one of the main antagonists of the play. Shylock lends money to Antonio but demands a pound of flesh as collateral if the loan is not repaid. Shylock is portrayed as a villainous character but also as a victim of discrimination and prejudice. Portia, she is a wealthy heiress and the romantic interest of Basinio. Portia is a strong and intelligent woman who disguises herself as a lawyer to defend Antonio in court. She is also famous for her speech on the quality of mercy. Basinio, he is a young Venetian nobleman and the best friend of Antonio. Basinio is in love with Portia and borrows money from Antonio to woo her. He is portrayed as a romantic and charming character. Jessica, she is Shylock's daughter who elopes with Lorenzo, a Christian. Jessica is torn between her loyalty to her father and her love for Lorenzo. She converts to Christianity and is seen as a symbol of hope for the future of Jewish-Christian relations. Lorenzo, he is a friend of Bassanio and a Christian who elopes with Jessica. Lorenzo is portrayed as a romantic and impulsive character who is willing to risk everything for love. Nerissa, she is Portia's lady-in-waiting and confident. Nerissa is a witty and intelligent woman who disguises herself as a lawyer's clerk to help Portia defend Antonio in court. These are the most important characters in The Merchant of Venice and their roles are critical to the plot and themes of the play. Joseph Andrews is a novel by Henry Fielding, published in 1742. Here are the most important characters in the novel and their roles. Joseph Andrews, he is the protagonist of the novel, a handsome and virtuous young man who serves as a footman to Lady Booby. Joseph is kind-hearted, honest, and determined to uphold his moral principles even in the face of temptation and adversity. Parson Adams, he is a learned and eccentric clergyman who befriends Joseph and becomes his traveling companion. Parson Adams is a comic character, known for his absent-mindedness, but he is also a symbol of moral and intellectual goodness. Lady Booby, she is Joseph's employer, a wealthy and vain widow who desires him for her own pleasure. Lady Booby is portrayed as a satirical figure representing the decadence and corruption of the upper class. Mr. Wilson, he is a squire who falls in love with Fanny, Joseph's sweetheart. Mr. Wilson is a kind and generous man, in contrast to Lady Booby. Fanny Goodwill, she is Joseph's love interest and a servant in the household of Mr. Wilson. Fanny is a virtuous and beautiful young woman who is devoted to Joseph. Mrs. Slipslaw, she is Lady Booby's maid and a rival for Joseph's affection. Mrs. Slipslop is a comic character, known for her jealousy and scheming. Mr. Peter Bounds, he is a lawyer who befriends Lady Booby and tries to seduce Fanny. Mr. Bounds is a satirical character, representing the greed and immorality of the legal profession. These are the most important characters in Joseph Andrews and their roles are critical to the plot and themes of the novel. Adam Bede is a novel by George Eliot, published in 1859. It is set in rural England in the late 18th century. Here are the most important characters in the novel and their roles. Adam Bede, he is the protagonist of the novel, a carpenter and the son of a local farmer. Adam is a hard-working and honest man who falls in love with Hithi Sorel. He is a moral anchor in the novel 
a voice of reason and compassion. Hedy Sorrell, she is a young and beautiful woman who is the niece of a local farmer. Hedy is vain and selfish and dreams of a life of luxury and pleasure. She is Adam's love interest, but she falls for Arthur Donathorn instead, leading to tragedy. Arthur Donathorn, he is the young squire of the estate, who is good-looking, charming, and wealthy. Arthur is a complex character, who is torn between his sense of duty and his desire for pleasure. He is Hetty's lover, but he is also Adam's friend and the cause of Hetty's downfall. Mr. Irvine, he is the local rector and a close friend of the Donathon family. Mr. Irvine is a wise and kind man who tries to guide Arthur and Hetty towards the right path. Mrs. Poyser, she is the wife of a local farmer and a lively and practical woman. Mrs. Poyser is a comic character who provides a contrast to the tragic events in the novel. She is also a moral figure who provides guidance and support to the young characters in the novel. Mr. Poyser, he is the husband of Mrs. Poyser and a prosperous farmer. Mr. Poyser is a practical and hardworking man who provides a stable and reliable presence in the novel. These are the most important characters in Adam Bede and their roles are critical to the plot and themes of the novel. The characters represent different aspects of human nature, from moral goodness to vanity, from compassion to greed. The novel explores the complex relationships between characters, as well as the themes of love, duty, and moral responsibility. The Pickwick Papers is a novel by Charles Dickens, first published in 1836. It is a humorous and satirical novel, consisting of a series of loosely connected stories about the adventures of a group of friends. Here are the most important characters in the novel and their roles. Samuel Pickwick, he is the founder and president of the Pickwick Club, a wealthy and kind-hearted gentleman who is interested in the world and the people around him. Pickwick is a comic character, known for his naivete and his tendency to get into trouble. Mr. Nathaniel Winkle, he is a young man and a member of the Pickwick Club, who is good-natured but somewhat clumsy. Winkle is a comic character, known for his love of shooting and his inability to hit a target. Mr. Augustus Snodgrass, he is another member of the Pickwick Club, who is a romantic and sentimental poet. Snodgrass is a comic character, known for his tendency to get into romantic entanglements. Mr. Tracy Tuckman, he is a middle-aged member of the Pickwick Club, who is vain and prone to falling in love. Tuckman is a comic character, known for his gullibility and his belief in romantic love. Sam Weller, he is Pickwick's valet, who becomes a key character in the novel. Sam is a quick-witted and loyal servant who provides comic relief and serves as a moral guide to the other characters. Alfred Jingle, he is a con artist and a master of disguise who tricks the Pickwickians into various adventures. Jingle is a comic character known for his charm and his ability to manipulate people. Mrs. Bardell, she is Pickwick's landlady who sues him for breach of promise when he accidentally proposes to her. Mrs. Bardell is a comic character, known for her greed and her desire for social status. These are the most important characters in the Pickwick Papers, and their roles are critical to the plot and themes of the novel. The characters represent different aspects of human nature, from kindness to greed, from romance to deception. The novel explores the social and cultural landscape of early 19th century England, as well as the human experiences of friendship, love, and humor. Puddenhead Wilson is a novel by Mark Twain, published in 1894. The novel is set in the pre-Civil War South and explores issues of race and identity. Here are the most important characters in the novel and their roles. David Wilson, Puddenhead Wilson, he is a young lawyer and the title character of the novel. 
Wilson is an outsider in the small town of Dawson's Landing, known for his eccentricities and his interest in forensic science. He plays a critical role in solving the novel's central mystery. Tom Driscoll Chambers, he is the son of a wealthy slave-holding family and the novel's main antagonist. Tom is selfish and cruel, and he resents his cousin Roxy, who is a slave but has lighter skin than he does. Tom's true identity is revealed later in the novel. Roxy, she is a slave who belongs to the Driscoll family and is the mother of two children, one of whom is light-skinned enough to pass as white. Roxy is a complex character, who is torn between her loyalty to her family and her desire for freedom. Roxana Chambers, she is Roxy's light-skinned son, who is sold as a slave and eventually passes as white. Roxana is a tragic character who is forced to deny her true identity in order to survive. Judge Driscoll, he is a wealthy and respected judge in Dawson's Landing and the patriarch of the Driscoll family. Judge Driscoll is a hypocritical character who espouses Christian values but condones slavery and racism. Luigi and Angelo Capello, they are Italian twins who come to Dawson's Landing and are mistaken for a pair of aristocrats. The Capello twins are comic characters who provide a contrast to the novel's serious themes. These are the most important characters in Puttanhead Wilson and their roles are critical to the plot and themes of the novel. The characters represent different aspects of the antebellum South, from the cruelty of slavery to the hypocrisy of the ruling class. The novel explores the complexities of race and identity, as well as the power dynamics of a society built on slavery. The Company Anthem is a short story by O. Henry, first published in 1904. The story follows a homeless man named Soapy, who tries to get arrested in order to spend the winter in jail. Here are the most important characters in the story and their roles. Soapy, he is the protagonist of the story, a homeless man who wants to spend the winter in jail. Soapy is a complex character who is desperate for a sense of purpose and belonging in life. He is also a bit of a dreamer, often imagining a better life for himself. The policeman, he is the antagonist of the story, a police officer who patrols the park where Soapy is trying to get arrested. The policeman is a symbol of authority and order, and he sees Soapy as a nuisance and a threat to public safety. The Society Women They are a group of wealthy women who walk through the park, dressed in expensive clothes and jewelry. The Society Women represent a world that is completely foreign to Soapy, and he feels both envy and contempt towards them. The Young Girl She is a young woman who plays the church organ near the park. Soapy is moved by her music, and he briefly considers turning his life around in order to impress her. These are the most important characters in the cop and the anthem, and their roles are critical to the plot and themes of the story. The characters represent different aspects of society, from the homeless to the wealthy, and the story explores the tension between them. The story is also a commentary on the human condition and the desire for a sense of purpose and belonging in life. Ultimately, the story suggests that these desires can be elusive and that life is often unpredictable and unfair. Note, for murder chapter 1 have already mentioned important characters and their role in important questions. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Learn the Scovithan the Scorjanvi.